you are excited to be in this service the last Sunday of the month of June shout glory, glory. now let's lift up our voices and begin to appreciate him give him praise give him thanks Father, we thank you. He said, enter his gate with thanksgiving and his court with praise. Give him praise this morning. Appreciate him from the depth of your heart. He has brought you into this service to bless you. Why not lift your voice and appreciate the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. Father, we thank you for this opportunity again to be in the sanctuary. We have come to praise you. We have come to give you thanks in the name of Jesus. What a privilege. Today is our covenant day of marital breakthroughs. Appreciate him for what he said to do in your marriages. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus. Break every marital siege in our lives oh lord in this service this service must answer to its name in the name of jesus no one we go back the same oh lord father you are the one that set the solitary in families oh lord father by this service oh lord let every family represented here oh lord father lord do something new in their marriages in the name of jesus Ask him this morning. Say, Father, visit me by your word, O Lord. Visit me by your word. Send your word, O Lord, my direction this morning. Is someone appreciating him? Give him praise. Give him thanks. Let him hear the voice of your appreciation today in the name of Jesus. Now begin to express your desire. Begin to express your desperation before him. Say, Father, Lord, Touch me this morning. My marriage shall be strong. In the name of Jesus, every siege around my marriage be destroyed by this service. In the name of Jesus. Now lift your hands. Begin to appreciate him. He is a prayer answering God. He has heard us. Lord, we thank you for what you are set to do this morning. To you alone be all the glory and praise. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Shout the Lord, Amen. I know you have a testimony. Quickly walk to the prosperity entrance, document same, and opportunity will be given to you in the course of the service. Now with Jesus joy, put your hands together, big, 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 big for Jesus as we make welcome the choir. Thank you, Jesus, for the grace that you have. Give us We could never repay you before my heart We love to say that we Thank you Sing thank you Thank you Are you 
to be alive in this last Sunday of the month shout hallelujah someone glad to be in the sanctuary not in the mortuary shout to believe in hallelujah put your hands together for Jesus and please you may be comfortably seated hallelujah on behalf of Jesus the owner of the church on behalf of God's servant I want to welcome every one of you to a covenant day of marital breakthrough service in the mighty name of Jesus. We shall be taking our call to worship from the book of Joel chapter 2 from verse 21 to 27. We shall be reading responsively. I read verse 1, verse 2 until we get to the end. Verse 21. Fear not, O land, be glad and rejoice, for the Lord will do great things. Verse 22. Be not afraid. Be glad then, ye children of Zion, 
and rejoice in the Lord your God. For he had given you the former rain moderately, and he will cause to come down for you the rain, the former rain and the later rain in the first month. Verse 24. The floor shall be. Verse 25, and I will restore to you the years that the locusts are eating. The canker worm and the caterpillars, the palmer worm, my great army which I sent among you. Verse 26, ye shall eat. Verse 27, together church, and ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. And that I am the Lord your God and none else. And my people shall never be ashamed. That shall be our experience in Jesus' name. Put your hands of Jesus, you are welcome. You can make it bigger and better for Jesus. As we proceed in this special service, please pay close attention to the following announcements. Praise the Lord. Every worshiper is specially welcome to our covenant day of marital breakthrough and special end of the month Thanksgiving marriage and children dedication service. Midst of the year morning and evening raids. Be reminded that we are in the midst of the year prophetic season. Daily prayer and gospel raids hold throughout this season at 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. daily, except on Wednesday evenings. While this is open to all members who desire to be part of the intercessory army, it is an essential platform to ensure that all our senior citizens, the aged, the Muslim, Muslim mothers, and those on the line for miracle jobs or challenge individuals who may not be in a position to get in pursuit after souls partake of the kingdom advancement endeavor. Remember, there is a place for everyone in a revival. Your place shall not be taken in this revival season. That amen can be better. Amen. Following up on the harvest, please be reminded that we are all expected to follow up on all the harvest of the just concluded prophetic weeks of harvest, ensuring that they attend both Sunday and midweek services, WSF meetings, Believer Foundation School, and partake in water baptism. Remember, God who sees in secret will reward you openly. Covenant Day of Trumpet Service for July holds on Saturday, 1st of July, 2023 at 6 a.m. Leadership Empowerment Summit for July comes up this Saturday, 1st July, 2023 and shall be a live broadcast from Canaan land with God's servant, the apostle over this commission, releasing prophetic blessings. All service unit workers, WSF operators, pastors, elders, and all ordained workers are expected to be in attendance. Everyone expected should endeavor to honor God with their presence in this program. Time is 7 a.m. Good news. <laughs> Youth Aflame Prayer Session comes up immediately after the third service in all Sundays in the month of July 2023. All youths are admonished to be part and engage passionately on the prayer altar. Send in your testimonies. Christ commanded that we should share our testimonies as we saw in the cleansing of the ten lepers. How he questioned, were there not ten cleansed? Where are the nine? Only the one that returned had his healing perfected. Therefore, share your testimonies with us and they shall not only be perfected, they shall be preserved and multiplied. Send your testimonies to lfctestimonyquest at gmail.com or lfcwwdurumi at yahoo.com. Covenant Hour of Prayer continues tomorrow, Monday to Friday, 6 to 7 a.m. in the church and at all our prayer locations around the city. Midweek communion service holds next Wednesday, June 28, 2023 at 5 p.m. We shall be waiting on the Lord in a fast. Believers Foundation School and Water Baptism hosts today after the third service and on Saturday at 8 a.m. Winners Satellite Fellowship hosts in various homes of winners next Saturday. Endeavor to locate the nearest to your house 
and get your new converts and others invitees to attend with you. Time is 5 to 6 p.m. Praise the Lord. Next Sunday shall be our encounter with destiny service. Every everlasting mountain and perpetual hill on the part of everyone's glorious destinies shall be removed like a dream of the night. It shall be our prophetic entrance to the month of July. Come expecting an encounter with the prophetic world. It shall be a service to be much remembered. Service schedule is as displayed on the screen. Jesus is Lord. Put your hands together for Jesus. Shout hallelujah. In this end of the month, back when service, it is testimony time. Hallelujah. Sister Iwelu Awili, please come and share your testimony. Can we put our hands together for her? She's coming to share the testimony. Let's listen to the first documented testimony. Number one, marital breakthrough testimony. Hallelujah. On the 23rd of August, a Sunday service was announced that the 30th of August is a marital breakthrough. So I thought it was for only the married people. But pastor emphasized on it and said, singles believing God for marriage should come expectant. During the week, I prayed using the covenant hour of prayer guideline. Also, I prayed for the service of which I prepared my heart to receive every prophetic word, saying to myself that it will not pass me by this time. After the word, God's servant prophesied, he said, as the Lord liveth, and as your father in faith standing in the place of Abraham, I decree that within seven weeks, you are connected to your God of this past. Amen. I screamed with tears gushing from my eyes as I was tired of loneliness at my age. Then he said, all those in the life of marriage, put, down, put that down. Within seven weeks from today, some will happen this week, many will happen the week that follow. Brethren, to the glory of God, as God has spoken through the mouth of his servant, it came to pass in my life. 30th August 2015 was the declaration. On the 1st of September 2015, my God ordained husband show up in the course of the week as declared by God's servant. Last week, to the glory of God, my wedding took place. Hallelujah. God is mighty in the midst of his people. I'm like them that dream. To him alone be all the glory. He testifies, Mr. and Mrs. D. Hallelujah. Please come forward for your testimony. Once I was blind, but now I can see. Hallelujah. Your name and what the Lord has done for you, please. Praise the Lord. My name is Iwelu Awuli. Um, sometime last year, I was, I wrote a paper for ICANN, which is for the skill level. So I went to meet the state pastor and he prayed for me. And to the glory of God, I passed it. That was last November. But the day I came to share the testimony, I, I, I thank God for the paper. And the pastor that was there did not know that I've not finished ICANN. And in prophesied, he said, she's now the chartered accountant. Hallelujah. But I wrote the last exam this May. Before now, when I write ICANN, probably maybe if I write four, maybe I will pass three and I will have one to write. But this time, God gave me four papers at once. Hallelujah. Then, secondly, at the same time I got the news that I'm a professional chartered accountant, that same time, the next day, my husband got a, a call from the office that he has been promoted to the next level. Praise Hallelujah. the Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And the second documented testimony is 18 years marital separation and barrenness destroyed. During the 21st, 21st day prayer and fasting in January 2014, an elder called and said that while she was praying, God told her that it was my time for marital restoration. Immediately, I told her that I've tired to know Avin. I've tried to know Avin. But she said, you believe that the God of Bishop David or Yudekba would make it happen this time, so I believe. And thereafter, I prayed and called my husband that I want us to reconcile. Amazingly, he said that he had also planned to call for the same purpose. That was how God restored my home after 19 years of separation. And while the reconciliation was on and both ill or met, I partook of the communion for the restoration of my fallopian tube. 
I also asked God to give me double portion blessings for the wasted years. On January 17, 2014, all arrangements were concluded. And on February 3, 2014, my husband told me to return to our home that same week. The monthly prayer banquet card was distributed, and my second prayer was for my miracle children. Also, during one of the services, the bishop declared that our birthday will be a day of celebration as we receive all our heart desires. I believe that since my birthday is in August, which is the eighth month, I also receive, I will also receive my miracle twins in the nine months. To the glory of God, and I have two bouncy baby boys. To the glory of the Lord. Praise the Lord. They testify Olu Bukola, Allah the Pupa. Who is the doer of all this in your seated position? Just say, thank you, Jesus. I thought you are clapping for Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. Make it louder. For those catalog of testimonies, Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Praise God. Come on, I say praise God. Hallelujah. In this Thanksgiving service this morning, it is time for the end of the month Thanksgiving and dedication time. Praise God. God speaking in Psalm 103 verse 1 to 5. He said, bless the Lord, O my soul. He said, bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. January, February, March, April, May, and this is June. And because the devil couldn't stop you from seeing June, you will see July. You are not saying a loud amen. God has been so faithful to us and we owe him thanks. So everyone that has documented to come for child dedication, it is time for you to come forward. Perhaps this is your month of birthday, the month of June. It is time for you to come forward, your wedding anniversary. God has blessed you in diverse ways. You have a miracle job, you have a miracle car, you have a miracle house. Estates, promotions, breakthroughs, deliverance, healings. God has visited us in diverse ways. As a church, we have a reason to give God thanks. He has expanded us on every side. As a nation, he has blessed us. So let's rise up on our feet. The choir is going to lead us hot, hot praise. Hot, hot praise. Everyone who is coming for Thanksgiving, please come forward with your thanksgiving seed in your hand to give God thanks. Quiet, let's go. You are worthy, worthy of my praise. You are the most high. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, worthy of my praise. You are the most high. You are worthy. You are worthy, Lord. 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 You are worthy, Lord.
Thanksgiving is a spiritual preservative. As we are thanking God this morning, everyone alive today, they will be alive to see the end of this year. I don't know what God has done for you, but for me, God has done too many things. That's why I lift up your voice and thank Him now. As an individual, whether you are in the congregation, on ground, online, let God hear your voice of thanksgiving. Consciously, intentionally, deliberately, it is of the Lord's mercies. We are not consumed. Raise your voice and magnify Him. For that great thing God has even done for you in this great month of June, thank Him for your family. For your good health, for your good house, for your good job, for your good children. I thought you are thanking him. You are even in the sanctuary, you are not in the mortuary. We give you praise. Blessed be your name, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, as a church, we thank you for the privilege you have given to us to see the last Sunday of the first six months of this year. It's all of your grace. It's all of your mercies. Take all the glory. Not unto us, but unto you. We give all the glory. Thank you, Father. Even this morning, Father, we thank you specifically for all the June birthday celebrants. Thank you for adding one more glorious year to them. Father, by this their thanksgiving, not one among the June birthday celebrants shall be missing in June 2024. Yeah. Every June birthday celebrant, by June 2024, you are marking your next birthday in your decorated status. Yeah. This new year God has brought you into in this month, it shall be a concern for new year. Yeah. It shall be a testimony overflowing new year. Yeah. Everywhere you turn, you will see the glory of God. 
you will see the goodness of God. Amen. You will shed multiple tears of joy. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, we thank you for everyone whose wedding anniversary came up in the month of June. Father, we ask for multiply peace. Amen. Multiply joy. Amen. Multiply honor. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, these marriages that are thanking you today. Father, decorate them afresh. Amen. Every blessing of the marriage institution will not be lacking in these homes. Amen. Every home shall be heaven on heart. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, we thank you for the blessings of children. Every child that is for dedication, we ask that by the anointing, these children will grow up and become mighty. Amen. Sorrow will never be traceable to these children. Amen. Because we are dedicating this one today, all the miracle babies we are expecting in this church will decree their speedy arrival. Amen. No child in this church will break the art of their parents. Amen. Everything required for parents to raise up their children in the fear of the law is hereby delivered today. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Father, we also thank you for diverse blessings. Miracle jobs, promotions, business and career breakthroughs, healings and deliverances, new cars, new houses, new estates. We thank you. Father, whatever your people are thanking you for today, it will never be turned to sorrow. Whatever your people are thanking you for today, I prophesy for them to become pregnant. Amen. That between now and July ending, those blessings will give back to more blessings. Amen. They will give back to bigger blessings. Amen. Everyone with your hand lifted with your thanksgiving seed, your hands will never be empty. Amen. Your hand will never go down. Amen. This your hand will never beg. Amen. This your hand will forever be above. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. as you drop this seed today, every concern drop off every life. Amen. And for those who are rejoicing, with those who are rejoicing, celebration will never finish your house. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. wave that thanksgiving and say thank you, Father. The loudest you can right now, you are blessed. So as a quest leading us to do a Thanksgiving seed and we have to dedicate, we have pastors with oil. Put your finger in that plate and on your head as a choir leaders. All the glory must be to the Lord in the highest. Yeah. All the glory must be to the Lord in the highest. Hallelujah. Everybody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. together for Jesus and comfortably take your seat. This morning is my privilege to welcome a number of us worshiping with us for the very first time here at Living Faith Church Durumi on a Sunday morning like this. Today is your first time on a Sunday morning like this. Could you rise to your feet in honor of Jesus? You are worshiping with us for the first time on a Sunday morning. Could you rise to your feet in honor of Jesus? Both in this main hall and the science and wonder hall. Give Jesus a big hand and his right everywhere. Father, we give you thanks. Lord, we celebrate you. Blessed be your name forevermore. In Jesus' precious name, we have given thanks. On behalf of Jesus, the head of the church and the leadership, I want to welcome you to Living Faith 
church Durumi, a home of science and wonder. And that is why I know that you'll be blessed today in the mighty name of Jesus. Our kingdom friends are around you, and I want them to welcome you and place on your hand a welcome slip. And as soon as you receive your slip, please comfortably take your seat. Kingdom friends, please attend to them and be seated. Hallelujah. Please be seated. Hallelujah. Please, this is a home of signs and wonders. And that is why I know that every siege around your life, they are finally over in the mighty name of Jesus. But to maximize the blessings, the breakthrough, the promotion you have had at work in this place, you must not be a passerby. Rather, you must be planted and settled down here in living faith. Every word, especially as they come from this exalted altar. As you put those words to work, in the no short time, you will not only come here to share your testimony, but you will become a testimonial. If you believe that, shout hallelujah. In the same vein, all over the world, everyone worship with us online. We want to welcome you and say that the blessings of God at work in this place reach out to you there in the mighty name of Jesus. There is a link before you. Please, we want you to download that link. Feed the first time and sleep and send it back to us. We'll be praying for you. And in no time, you will share your own testimony in the mighty name of Jesus. Please, this time, anyone worshiping with us for the very first time, please could you rise once again? The church wants to pray with you and agree with you. There is something you are trusting God for. The church wants to stretch out their hand and pray concerning that thing so that it will turn for you a testimony. Please, church, let's stretch out our hand and pray for this one they have visited. May the God of this commission that is making us to break through, the God that is making us to share testimony, visit this one. Father, we thank you. Blessed be the name forevermore. In the mighty name of Jesus, you are blessed. Please be seated. Congratulations. In this great service, it's offering time. Come on, winners, rejoice. I say it is offering time. Your blessing, my blessing time. Please pack it together this time. Your offering, your tithes all of your kingdom financial investments and for online worshipers the e-channels for giving are displayed on the screen as we package your offering this you see this morning remember the admonition of scriptures second corinthians chapter 9 verse 6 paraphrased if you sow sparingly your harvest shall be spared bountiful harvest answers to bountiful sowing but in verse 7 Whatever you are proposed to give this morning, let it be from a cheerful heart. For the love of the Father is reserved for cheerful givers. You have done packaging your seed this morning. Why don't you rise to your feet on this great day? Make it a worship offering. You have understanding this morning. Worship the one who has made you to stand in his presence with a seed in your hand at this mid of the year. Give him praise this morning. And while you this morning, I will make it a wave offering unto him. And just thank him and worship him. He is deserving of our worship. Father, look at your people with your seed in your hand. Behold your children. Bless them mightily this morning. Let every seed return with abundance of harvest. Father, let the seed procure for each one your love, your love, your love in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name. Please be seated. Cast your offering as the choir ministers. Hallelujah. Who thinks is at the end of the road? You're tired, you're frustrated, and you want to quit. But please don't quit because God is a God of a breakthrough. And no matter what you're going through, God of breakthrough will see you through in the name of Jesus. Somebody help me sing this. You are God, and you are greater than anything. And I worship you. And I worship you. You're bigger than life to me. You are God. You are God and you are the greater Lord than anything. And I worship you, Jesus. And I worship you. 
ship you, you're bigger than life to me. And you are a God, and you are, God. You are greater than anything. Father, and I worship you, Jesus. And I worship you, you're bigger than life to me. And you are a God, and you are greater than anything. You are my breakthrough. My breakthrough. You are my breakthrough, Lord. You are my breakthrough. My breakthrough. You are my breakthrough. Yahweh, Yahweh. Breakthrough. You are my breakthrough. Breakthrough. And you are God. You are God. And you I worship you, Jesus. And I worship and I worship you, Jesus. You are God. You are God. Oh, yeah. And we worship you, Jesus. And I worship you for bigger than life to me. You are God. And you are You are my breakthrough. Bring to, bring to, bring to, bring to, 
for Jesus, you can do better. <laughs> Hallelujah. Is somebody excited to be in the presence of the Lord this morning? Is somebody truly, truly excited to be before the King of Kings this morning? <laughs> Hallelujah. Put those beautiful hands together for Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. We are going to thank the Lord for the privilege to be before him this morning. To sleep and wake is not by chance. And you cannot do it by yourself. You don't even know when you slept off. And so we are going to... Some persons set out. Billionaires set out. Unfortunately, they met with their debt. They paid for their debt. And here you are in the presence of the Lord, waxing and basking in the glory of God. Would you lift up your voice and just thank the Lord? We are not making jest of those that have gone. We are just celebrating the faithfulness of our God. What have we done? What did we do? What did we have that he has chosen to bestow this love upon us? Somebody celebrate him. Give him all the glory from the depth of your heart. Thank him and thank him in your own voice. Awesome God, I am grateful. On behalf of myself, my family, every church member, all of my friends and loved ones, I have come today to say thank you, my God. Somebody do it profusely from the depth of your heart. Awesome God, faithful God, see the way you have loved us. Lord, we are grateful. Now ask God for a word this morning. Ask him for a word this morning. Lord, send me my whole world that will transform my world. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Father, we thank you. In Jesus' mighty name. Please put your beautiful hands together for Jesus. And please take your seat. I count it a great privilege. Given me by God and God's servant in the house. To bring a word away this morning. I do not take it for granted. Hallelujah. Thank you, sir. As we attempt to round up in our Sunday teaching this month 
Don't forget, we have been looking at understanding the blessedness of a revival. Praise the Lord, and finally on the covenant highways of life. Say it loud and clear. We are going to be doing some encapsulation in the course of our teaching all through this month. We we'll round up, and uh, even though this month is coming to an end, your blessing is not coming to an end. Yeah. It's just beginning in the name of Jesus Christ. Understanding the blessedness of a revival. Understanding the blessedness of a revival. So much has been said this month on why we must plug in into this revival season. It is not for God. There is nothing God has asked us to do that he cannot do for himself. Can I humble us? There is nothing God asks us to do that he cannot use an animal for. A what? An animal. He can actually use a stone. He said, if these ones keep their mouth shut, I will raise stones. God will not raise stone in your state. He will not cause an animal to deliver in your place. Somebody say it very loud, Amen. God will never need us. We will always need him. And we will always depend upon him for everything. Isaiah 59 verse 15 to 16. And we have said that every responsibility, that is every instruction of God, they provide us with rare opportunities that are calculated by God to change our story. Every instruction of God, they are meant to transform our life. Every time God bestows a responsibility upon us, what lies therein is our golden opportunity for a change of level. Somebody will change level in the course of this mid-year revival. Say louder, amen. amen. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 1 and 2. And Isaiah chapter 1, verse 19. If you be willing, Isaiah 1, 19. If you are willing and obedient, you will eat the good of the land. Revival season is our season of visitation. Even though the month is running out, revival is still with us here. The midst of the year, which is June and July, provides us with ample opportunity to do something for that which we desire. Praise the Lord. If you check the account of Habakkuk chapter 3, verse 2. Praise the Lord. He will revive his work. In the midst of the year. And if you read down the line, by reason of that, it will cause our feet to be like ice feet. We will begin to walk, by reason of taking that responsibility, we will begin to walk upon our high place. Nobody desire to walk in the low place. No one. No one. No one. Everyone desire to walk on their highways. And that is where you are getting on from now. Please say louder, amen. amen. Opportunities, please know, are always wrapped up in responsibilities. Opportunities, opportunity to be married, opportunity to be uh, employed, opportunity to be healed of those infirmities. They are always wrapped up in responsibilities. Somebody carried flyer with a swollen leg, elephantiasis. With a swollen leg, the legs were burning. Yet, she carried flyer and went out. Every step she takes were laden with pains. Were laden with pains. But she returned with her testimony. Hallelujah. 
As she came back home, lie down. Margot came out. The leg defloated. Some persons here, right here in Durumi, they were called unemployed. Two brothers. That's why it's good for you to company with people that will help you up. They company together. They wanted to do 20 flyers. We had that testimony on this altar. They wanted to share 20 flyers as their custom is. But that particular day, they decided to do 100. And so they went under Apple Bridge, which is their own harvest feed. Do you have your own harvest feed? They have their sports. Come rain, come shine. That's where they are, sharing fly. After, an hour, after the engagement, the other said, I desire God to give me $100 for my engagement today. And he got it. The other said, for me, I desire a job. I want to be gainfully employed. And God visited him here. He shared the testimony on this altar. Every responsibility is our golden opportunity for a change of level. You won't miss your own portion from now. Amen. Say louder, amen. amen. So in other words, until you decide to partake of it, the blessing remains I do. If it is five years time you decide to pursue, pursue kingdom advancement, mm-hmm. He remains the I am that I am. That's why he encouraged us. He said, lift up the hands that hang down. Do something. You, are, you claim to be waiting upon me. I am the one waiting upon you. I'm waiting for the day you will do something. For me to step in and activate the fulfillment phase of your life. If only you will plug in. You will see me in action. The glorious destiny I have bestowed upon you will begin to surface. Somebody will take a responsible position from now onwards. In the name of Jesus Christ. So, we began to ask the question, what is a revival? That question we have been ask, asking and answering all through this month. Number one, to answer that question this morning, don't forget... We are taking the part four of this teaching, understanding the blessedness of a revival, part 4A in this service. What is a revival, therefore? A revival is a move of the spirit across the people of all ages, culminating in diverse supernatural turnaround. The move of the spirit of God across every age group across every age group no one is left out your age does not matter when you are going for outreach you can actually carry your children along everyone is involved hallelujah in this church teenagers in this church they have their own date for outreach not that they were made to do it that is their decision they just simply notify us in the office please tomorrow is our outreach we will need the church bus oh free you can have it they have their own date you see elderly people taking active position in kingdom advancement prayer money rate and evening rate they are there these are people of timber and caliber, you will call them. But they drop their portfolio just to follow after God. Elderly people, middle-aged people, young, everyone is involved in a revival. The question is, are you in a revival? Joel chapter 2, verse 28 to 29. He said that we pour 
out my spirit upon all flesh and your sons and daughters shall prophesy your old men shall dream dreams your young men shall see vision and also upon the servant and upon the handmaid in those days will i pour out my spirit when you see that happen then please know we are in a revival praise the lord number two a revival is a move of the spirit of god that unleashes the spirit of prayer and supplication upon god's people the move of the spirit of god that unleashes the spirit of prayer and supplication upon god's people which results in mass salvation of souls and explosive church growth the move of the spirit of god that confer upon the people the spirit of prayer and supplication when praying for kingdom advancement prayer becomes a delight you are not ashamed who is watching you it doesn't matter you wake up in the dead of the night to go easy yourself coming back you see yourself praying kingdom advancement prayer you are driving on your way to walk you see yourself praying oh god save souls rescue the lost visit everyone on the line for miracle job change the story of everyone that is passing through one challenge or the other kingdom advancement prayer is multifaceted when the spirit of prayer and supplication prayer becomes like oxygen you may not have time for long prayer definitely you have time for short prayer prayer is not until you need them you need them our father who art it no while you are driving pom -pom, father in the name of jesus everyone going out today visit them grant them the right wall they will know what to say lord move now move let me go my way you know you are just trying to navigate on your way to work you are praying you it's not until you close your eyes you can be in your bathroom and be praying hallelujah when the spirit of prayer and supplication comes upon the people that will result in advancement and explosive growth of the church praise god zechariah chapter 12 verse 10 i will pour upon the house of david and upon the inhabitants of jerusalem the spirit of grace and supplication and they shall look upon me they will look upon me they will constantly look upon me praise god Isaiah chapter 66, verse 7 and 8. Hear what David said. In 1 Samuel chapter 12, verse 23. A man that was in a revival perpetually. He was constantly in a revival. Whether anybody in the church is in a revival, it doesn't matter to him. Hear what he said. Moreover, as for me, he said, God forbid that I should sin against the Lord in stopping, in stopping to pray for you. It is a sin to him to stop praying for you. Hallelujah. It is a, he considered it a sin. That is a man that is laden with the spirit of prayer and supplication. Praying for others in the vineyard of the Lord. That becomes our testimony from today. In the name of Jesus Christ. How are we going to know when there is a revival? The revival is said to occur when, number one, when praying kingdom advancement prayer becomes a delight. We have said so much about that. Matthew chapter 6, verse 6 and verse 9 to 10. Matthew chapter 6, verse 6, verse 9 to 10, verse 17 to 19. Matthew 6, verse 6, verse 9, verse 6 to verse 9 to 10, and verse 17 to 19. First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 
17. He said, pray without ceasing. A revival is said to occur, number two, number two, when one is consumed with undying passion to see souls saved, when you are consumed with undying passion to see souls saved, then you are in a revival. Hallelujah. John chapter 15, verse 16. I am the one that chose you. You are not the one that chose me, but I have sent you to go forth and bring forth fruit. And let your fruit abide. Hallelujah. Romans chapter 1, verse 16. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. For it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believe. To the Jews first and to the Greek. Hallelujah. When one is consumed with undying passion to see souls saved. The soul you don't care for today may constitute a nuisance to you tomorrow. Somebody's husband is in this revival. We had a testimony in one of our services in the course of the week. How a police officer, how a brother was taken and police raided and they took him and locked him up in the cell. And a sister, a police officer, a believer, trusting God for marital breakthrough, stood up in her office to evangelize and went to the cell and greeted them and said, that one, bring me that one and minister to that one. What happened to you? And uh, today, they have four children. <laughs> Praise God. If she has remained in her office, she will still, be remain, she will still remain single until Jesus come. Possibly. But she decided to engage. Let me be of blessing to somebody. And destiny brought them together. Praise the Lord. Somebody's miracle job is in this revival. Don't joke with it. Please, who is doing it or who is not doing it does not matter. We didn't come together. We came individually. And our results cannot be the same. Is somebody here? Our results cannot be what? Because our obedience is not the same. Praise God. But I see somebody changing level from now. What is in a revival for me? You may want to ask. After all, it is written in every labor there is profit. What is in a revival for me? Number one, the life of every engaging believer is transformed. Is transformed. Transformed in a revival. The life of every Engaging believer is transformed. After giving my life to Christ and registering in a service unit in the church as we were instructed to do, one major assignment I saw myself plugging into is money raid. Before we ever hear the name, we call it money cry. Have you heard of it before? Morning cry. I started with my mouth before somebody bought me a megaphone. Now, maybe if I had not plugged in, you wouldn't have known me. This is somebody who once attempted suicide to commit suicide because nothing was working. When I say nothing was working, I know what I meant. People will tell you they have never suffered. Me, I don't suffer. But I know they suffer again. You see, all this uh, uh, 21st century uh, make believe messages that you are hearing have never suffered. Uh, we, uh, we don't suffer. <laughs> but we are no longer suffering. Yeah. I was in a room for three days, no food. The only food I had was beans. And I had electric cooker. You know that coil, coil stove. Those days. No stove, no kerosene stove. 
Only that one. As I poured the beans on the fire like this, Nepa took light. Bagam. They took light. Ah, they will soon bring it. They soon restore it. Ah, I believe. Day one, I believe. Day two, they will restore it. My brain didn't even tell me to remove the beans from the water. By the time, I didn't know it was transformer that spoiled. Three days. That is compulsory dry fast. Semi dry fast. Because the only thing you have to resort to is water. And I will never beg. Never beg. It's not pride though. It's a decision. I won't beg, my God. Until one of my friends came in on the third day, in the evening, what? And said, what's happening? You have not been talking to anybody. See the way you are looking. What, what's smelling in the house like this? It was the beans that was smelling. I said, I have not eaten for three days. He said, what? He took 50 naira and went to buy bread. When Nigeria was still good. 50 naira bread. Now, see where we were coming from. Until he saved us. And we began to apply ourselves to engage. And gradually, he began to transform. Step by step. Line upon line. Precept upon precept. See where we are today. If I want to buy one billion electric stove, I will buy. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. When you engage, it transforms your life. It changes your story. You bemoan your situation too much. Do something about it. Take a step of faith. All these things they are teaching you is for your benefit. When will you change my level? It won't change until you do something. It won't. Too many people dying on the prayer mountain. Me, myself, and I alone. Lord, do it now. Now, 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 now. He said, oh yeah, my son, do something now. That is how it works. The life of every engaging believer will always transform in a revival. Praise God. Isaiah chapter 61, verse 1 to 7. Spirit of the Lord is upon me to proclaim to, to, the, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord, the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort them that mourn in Zion, to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion, to give unto them beautiful ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. The Lord might be glorified. Praise the Lord. And in Zechariah chapter 8, verse 23, the word of the Lord said, Thus hear the Lord in those days, because they are busy engaging for me. In those days, it shall come to pass that ten men will take hold of the skirt of him that is a member of living faith or engaging member of living faith or duru me on ground and online. Hallelujah. And they will tell them, We will go with you. Because we have asked, we are the ones inviting them right now. But very shortly, what did I say? Very shortly, they are the ones that will come and stand at your gate to carry them to church. Oh, you didn't say amen. amen. Why should they follow you now? They can't see anything around you. But relax. What did I say? Relax. God is changing your level, He's moving you forward. He said they will not believe until they see signs. Very soon, they will see your sign. Amen. Why? You will be feeding the community. Amen. You will be responsible for their school fees. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I am not surprised when Papa tells us that he won 1,000 souls in a week. Ah. Before Uncle, everybody know Papa now. God has done him well. They can see, even the blind can see, Imam can see, sir. When Papa appear, they will tell him, our, Imam will say, our father in the Lord. Our father in the Lord. Ah. If they don't want to hear the gospel before, they will listen to him. Very soon, they will listen to you. Yeah. When you are going for outreach, very soon, it will be with you and your entourage. Yeah. You and your convoy. You enter any street, 
it is shut down for Jesus. Come on, say louder, amen now. That is how it works. That is how it works. Praise the Lord. Please know that every move of the Spirit of God confers dominion on every engaging believer. You will dominate. Even in the camp of your enemies, you will dominate. In the name of Jesus Christ. Daniel chapter 12, verse 3. Those that are wise, they will shine as the brightness of the firmament forever and ever. What next? Lastly, our needs are supernaturally met in a revival. Our needs are supernaturally met in a revival. And we have also delved into that. Luke chapter 12, 22, verse 35. When I sent you without pause nor script, did you lack anything? And their response was, we lack nothing. You won't lack anything any longer. Yeah. One of our sisters in this church was sharing her testimony with me. She said, oh, everything about her is kingdom engagement. Too. Through kingdom engagement, she got a free house in Asokoro. Through kingdom engagement, they furnished the house for her. Through kingdom engagement, somebody dashed her tablet. Through kingdom, she don't, I don't even think she knows the owner of the house. Somebody who is in charge of the house, say, ah, please, there's a place you can stay. Take this one. Our needs are super. Look, those that are rich, they buy. But when you are busy engaging, you are blessed. And when you are blessed, you possess. You don't need to know how much they are buying anything. Once you are blessed, you do what? You possess. You begin to possess from now Covenant day of marital breakthrough. Put your hands together for Jesus. If anything came through to you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Every challenge marital destiny such as marital delay marital crisis of any kind they are all oppressions of the devil. They are what? Oppressions of the devil. God has done you well. When he created you, he said you are good. It was good. The timetable of God for you is accurate. He knew when you are supposed to be married. But something happened. An enemy swung into action. The word of the Lord, speaking in Matthew chapter 13, verse 28, he said, an enemy has done this. Why are you beautiful and there is no marriage? Nobody is even asking, what are you selling there? You rub pancake, you do makeup, wig, all manner of wig. And now you are doing gym, you are doing gym to trim down. Eh? Still, nobody is asking, what's up? Something is wrong. Something is wrong. The only set of people that come are married men. Something is wrong. Every form of delay in marriage, in marital settlement, is an affliction of the enemy. Is it not written? It makes all things beautiful in its time. Why is your own not beautiful at the right time? But that affliction come to an end today. Yeah. You can't say louder, amen. amen. Please say very loud, amen. amen. Psalm 68, verse 6. God set the solitary in families. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12. We wrestle not against flesh and blood. But against principalities and power, you saw one small dream and everything scatter. Somebody that has been promising you marriage, you have been doing everything together six years in courtship, seven years on the road. Suddenly, he just disappoints. He's not picking call again. Uh -uh. We wrestle not just because of one small dream that you had. The moment anything good is coming and you see that terrible dream, everything scatter. 
that come to an end in the name of Jesus Christ. This relationship you are in right now, this one will work. Amen. Say loud, amen. amen. An enemy has done this. There is no, this subject is so important. Because there is no church without the family. The same way there is no society without the family unit. Whatever affects the home, affects the church. Every marriage under one torment of the enemy or the other, one boisterous wind or the other, today God will calm them. Amen. He stood and stretched his hand and said, Peace be still. And every boisterous wind came down quiet. Is it not written? When God gave her quietness, who then can make trouble? I love you, Tori Torun. You are the sugar in my tea. And you got married. Everything was until something happened. What happened? You kept asking. Nobody can profile answer. Nobody. I love you, I love you. I suddenly become, I don't want to see you. Something is wrong. Whatever has gone wrong, God will fix them today. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every child of God that so desire to be married. Every child of God that so desire has the God given heritage to be settled in marriage. Is it not written in Genesis chapter 2 verse 18? God said it is not good for man to be alone. I will make for him and help meat for him. And in Proverbs chapter 18 verse 22 he said anybody that finds a wife he has found a good thing. And he has obtained the favor of God. In the same vein, marriage is a good thing. And every good thing is our entitlement in Christ. Including a fulfilled married life. You are not just married. You are not married for trouble. You are fulfilled. You are settled. You are enjoying heaven on earth. Praise God. Matthew 11, Matthew 7, verse 11. Matthew 7, verse 11, he said, If you, that you are evil, if you know how to give good things to your children, how much more shall your father, which is in heaven, give good things to them that ask him? Good things to them that ask him. You won't lack it any longer. Therefore, for everyone... Set for marriage today is declared your day of deliverance, Amen. and God will set to you supernaturally Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hosea chapter 12, verse 13. There, furthermore, to claim to calm the storm in every challenge marriage, please take note of the following where any marriage has no sure foundation in Christ, then the individuals concerned must ask God for forgiveness. Perhaps you met in the clubhouse. You did poly bag wedding. You jumped through the window to enter that marriage. There is hope for you. I thought somebody would shout hallelujah. There is hope. Just repent. Repent and it will receive you. And it will make all things beautiful. Hebrews chapter 13, verse 4. Marriage is honorable in all things. Acts chapter 3, verse 19. Repent. Repent you, therefore, and be converted that your sin may be blotted out when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. Number two, please take note. Everyone going through marital challenge should seek the light from the word of God. And through anointed books on marriage that prove by proving author, seek light from the word of God and from anointed books from proven authors. Learn there is something you are missing. That is not making that marriage work. You didn't marry an animal now. 
Your husband is not crazy. There is something you have not learned about marriage. This is an institution of a lifetime. Why won't you learn? You will work for 35 years and you went to school for it. To be qualified for, the, for it. This one is a, an entire lifetime. Why won't you study? How many books have you read on marriage? The only thing you do is pinging. You sit down with seaward from morning to evening. Learn, learn, learn. Read from proven author. 2 Timothy chapter 2 verse 15. Study to show yourself approved. A workman that needed not to be ashamed. Rightly dividing the word of truth. Nobody will be put to shame again in our midst. Amen. The required knowledge that we calm that man down. That we restore that, that nagging woman. That wisdom God will give to you today. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So learn, seek light. When your husband is talking, there is a wisdom to put water in your mouth. So that you will not reply him. Just put the water in your mouth. Don't swallow it. As he's saying his own, hmm, 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 hmm. Would you talk? Mm, mm, mm. I'm sorry, sir. By the time he calm down, he's the one that will still beg you. There is a wisdom to fix every turbulence in marriage. God will give you that wisdom. In the name of Jesus Christ. It's an argument you can never win. You can't win the arguments against your husband. You can never win. If he sees that he's guilty, he will put ego in it. I'm the head of this home. That's how I want it. And that's how he wants it. But when you are laden with the required wisdom, when I'm sorry is not far from you, he will come back around and you'll be better for it. That will be our testimony. Amen. Number three, rebellious against the covenant of fulfilled marriage, of fulfilled married life can keep any marriage under tension for life. Please know, rebellious against the covenant of fulfilled marital life can keep anyone, can keep any marriage under tension for life. One of the aspect of rebellious is pride pride humble yourself pride relax relax Psalms chapter 68 verse 6 Ephesians chapter 5 verse 23 our time is fast spent as we attempt to close please know that biblically in marriage the two partners have become one flesh Therefore, living apart from each one is a risk because it is a bridge, it's a breeding ground for temptation to sexual immorality that destroys. It's a breeding ground for the two to be living apart as much as God helps you come together. When you stay apart, it's a breeding ground for sexual temptations. If your husband is not looking for them, those girls now, they are the ones looking for men now. Come together. If you are not there, you can't ask how did they share it. You are there, self. They don't want to give to you. How much more when you are not there? In my language, they will tell you whatever you put on the ground, that's what the dog will carry. They will carry your own. So come together. Praise the Lord. In closing, sanctification is the will of God for us, both as individual and in marriage. Sanctify yourself. Make yourself holy. Remain for Christ and for Christ alone. I see God helping us in the name of Jesus Christ. Everyone on the line for miracle marriage, God will say to you today, God will supernaturally position you where you will be sorted out in the name of Jesus. Amen. And every home under one siege of the enemy or the other, God will visit you today. Amen. Please rise to your feet. Rise to your feet quickly. All eyes closed and all eyes bow. 
You are here today, you are not born again. You yourself, you know that you are not born again. Or at one time or the other, you gave your life to Christ, but you backslid it. You are not born again. That's why nothing is working in that marriage. That's why nothing is working in that marriage. All you need to do is rededicate unto God. Rededicate your life unto God. And you are here today, you want to do same. Please find your way to the altar area. Don't be ashamed about it. What you don't know, you don't know. Whole things have passed away. God bless you. If you clap for them, they will come very fast. Please, if you are coming, come very fast. Our time is fast spent. Please come very fast. Please clap for them some more. They are still coming. You are surrendering your life to Christ today. Come very fast. Come very fast. You are coming from the overflow. Come very fast. Come very fast. You are the one we are waiting for. Everybody in church is born again except you. When will it be your turn? Now come, come. Jesus is waiting with his arms widely open. Everyone in front and those that are still coming on their way, put your hand on your chest. And say this prayer with me. Say with me, Lord Jesus, I come to you today. I know myself as a sinner. Please forgive me. From today, I surrender to you and to you alone. Thank you for saving me. I am born again in Jesus' name. I cover you with the blood of Jesus Christ. We cover till eternity in Jesus' name. Look this direction. You'll see some kingdom friends waiting for you. Somebody put your beautiful hands together for Jesus as welcome God's servant. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If somebody has been blessed, I thought you are clapping for Jesus right now. I thought you are clapping with a big shout. Hallelujah. No one's life here will remain the same. The blessings of this revival season will not elude anyone here. If you are there, shout a stronger amen. As we have heard, in the season of revival, everyone's needs are supernaturally met. No one here shall be the odd person out. The need for marital settlement in this season, they shall be met. In the season of revival, every everlasting mountain, every barrier resisting our glorious marital destinies as singles as the marriage he said they will scatter Amen. i said today they scatter Amen. so we're going to pray a while before we go in psalm chapter 66 and verse 8 he said god set the solitary in what god is the one in charge he said he bring it out those who are bound with chains. That means there are chains, there are hindrances that doesn't want God to set people in the family way. And we are his representative. We are his children. He said, whatever we bind on heart shall be what? And whatever we lose on heart shall be what? So we are going to stand in the gap. Father, every chain in the rain, the marital settlement of every eligible single in this church, we command those everlasting mountains to be scattered. Yes. Raise your voice and pray right now. You can pray it for your son, for your daughter, for your cousin, for your nephew, for your niece, for your grandchild. Raise your voice now and pray. Remember, the season of revival is a season of prayers. Kingdom advancement prayers is a delight of everyone. Praying for others is praying for yourself. Father, as a church, we stand in the gap for all eligible ready singles. Every satanic manipulation, whatever the enemy has done to cover the beauty of our singles, every contrary reason every contrary excuse every oppression of principalities and powers every spare every curse every evil dream whatever is responsible 
we bring them down today. He said, an enemy has done it. Whatever the enemy has done, today, we command them to be cancelled. Today, we nullify them. Today, by the blood of Jesus Christ, we command them to be shattered. Every filthy garment misrepresenting the beauty, the joy of all our singles, we tear them to pieces this morning. We tear them to pieces this morning. We tear them to pieces this morning. Father, we declare the year 2023 will not come to an end until they are settled. You said a prudent wife, a prudent husband is from you. Father, open your hand wide today. Let there be divine connectivity. Let there be divine connectivity. Open the eyes of the man. Let the sisters be in the right place at the right time. Loose the tongues of the man. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ. I said in the name of Jesus Christ. Even beginning from this service, bones will be locating bones. Flesh will be locating flesh. As the Lord liveth, before the end of this midst of the year season, by July 31st, all our eligible singles are already settled. Amen. Oh, those who are greedy shout the song, are amen. amen. Now, for the married, every married home is expected by God to enjoy heaven on earth. But why are people living like cats and dogs inside marriages? He said, an enemy has done it. Whatever the enemy has done to corrupt, to scatter any marriage, we command them to be destroyed. Amen. I said, we command them to be destroyed. Amen. He said, Jesus stood and spoke to the storm, peace be still. And we are his ambassadors. We are, his, we are, we are Christ's representative. Let's stand and gap right now. Father, to every troubled home, whatever is required, we command peace be still. Every broken home, we command supernatural restoration, supernatural mending, supernatural coming back to life. Whatever the enemy has done, Father, Father, step in right now. Step in right now. Father, everyone with a heart of stone, everyone with a, a stubborn wife, a stubborn husband, Father, give them a new heart. Any man oppressing the wife, Father, change them today. Give them a new heart, a loving heart, a considerate heart, a compassionate heart. No man shall be wicked. No man in this church shall do evil to the wife of their covenant. In the name of Jesus, no woman shall be a thorn in the flesh of their husband. Father, do it today. No one shall add in their heart to this word of life that we have received today. Rakotem pro talebayam prakatale. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ. I said, in the name of Jesus Christ. Therefore, I stand by the authority of Christ. For every troubled hope, I command peace be still. Amen. To every storm, I command a great calm. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please get seated and give Jesus a big shout of praise. Now, let me say this before we close. Say, grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of God. Either as a young person, a single, the married, biblical 
that sense is required to enjoy marital breakthrough. Don't despise the wisdom of God. That if you despise it, you will bear it alone. As a single person, please follow the word of God. He said, if the foundation be destroyed, what can the righteous do? You can't operate your marital life according to your own sense. Civilization, modernization, technology cannot replace God's word. Please. You can't follow God's path and miss it. When they say, engage in advancing the kingdom, you heard the testimony. Somebody was doing that and got a person to marry. The Bible says, when you are single, you have time for the things of God. Now, you are single, you are not in prayer rate, you are not in soul winning, you are not in any service unit. And every day, you are bombarding heaven. Father, where's my husband? Father, where's my wife? When the hedge is broken, it's happened to buy it. When you are serving God, blessings will come. Forget about somebody is cursing you. A lot of junks. And you see, there's a marital curse. Curse where? God can't bless you and somebody curse you. Light can't be present and darkness be present. Forget about junk. Somebody in your family, somebody in your is cursing you, is doing you. That's junk. Oh gosh. If you serve God consistently, there's no way the blessings of marriage will not answer. Just seek first the kingdom and all these things. Keep at it. Keep at it. When they say there's a youth meeting, be there. When they say there's a marriage seminar, be there. There are single people, they know more than God already. They know everything they will say about single meeting, they will never go. They have been in this church since the day they were in uh, area 1 or area 11. It's area 11 now. Area 1. They know it. They know what they will say, so they won't come. But grace and peace, they multiply. Nobody here will miss it. And for the married, there are so many things to say. Please, dwell with your wife according to knowledge. We have heard it. Pay price to read books. In case you don't know, meet those who are, whose marriages are working. Let them counsel you. When you are sick in your body, you go and meet doctors. And doctors ask you to remove your clothes. And you are not ashamed. But when you are now sick in your marriage, you are now saying you are ashamed to go and meet somebody who will help you. You will just die. You even want your wife. My wife, if you go and tell anybody about what is happening. Meanwhile, when you are sick, it doesn't matter the age of the doctor or nurse. They say, open your bonbon. You want to give you injection. <laughs> you are not ashamed of that one. So if your marriage is not working, it's your fault. It's not the devil. It's not a witch. It's ignorance. It's what? Husbands don't do wickedness to you. There are many men who are doing wickedness to their wife wickedness and they come to church and they hear the word and nothing is touching them but it has changed today i said it has changed today please 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 let nobody suffer in silence don't let any man harass you that you will talk nothing will happen you are going to make heaven i said you will make heaven so you may be serving god but you need to get it right when it comes to marriage you need to get it right you need to get it right. When they say you are a mister, mister means mature and responsible. Say me mature and responsible. You are mature and you are responsible. You are responsible to make sure that your, your home is peaceful. There's peace in your home. There's joy in your home. Your wife is always smiling. If you are not as a man, you have question marks to answer God. Please. It's not enough to hear the word. It's very important to respond positively to the word we are hearing. A lot of people come to church, but if you hear things people say in marriages, you'll be surprised. You'll be surprised. 
be surprised. So revival time is a time of positive response to God's word. If you are not responding to the word you hear, you are dead spiritually. That's the meaning. So revival means you hear the word on marital matters, then you turn. You are not turning, you are not changing, you are not touched, the person is dead spiritually. That's the meaning of revival. So and until you change, nothing change. Marital life cannot change for the better until you change. Change your thought, change your perspective, change your attitude, change your words, change your actions, then things will change for the better. You can't continue to do things the same way and expect something to change in your marriage. No. Both for singles and the marriage. He said, as we, are, as we behold him, we are changed. The grace to change. Somebody see me today. Yeah. Say, so, I receive that grace. So, singles change. In case you have been attending first service alone, maybe the man is in second service. Change to second service. Change something. The man that will marry, maybe come for second service. Or the woman that will marry. So, change. Just change something. Tell about change some things. Huh. If your wife fighting, your husband is fighting, you change something. Change the way you talk to your husband. Change something. Tell about change some things. Hey, change some things. Change something. Don't maintain status quo. The Lord will grant us understanding. Amen. If you have been blessed by the word this morning, shout a strong hallelujah. hallelujah. Quickly, before we close this service, you are acknowledged earlier on. It's your first Sunday in Living Faith Church. Durumi. We want to request you to stand to your feet again. It's your first Sunday in Living Faith Church. Durumi. Please stand to your feet again. God bless you. God bless you. Please carry your bags and Bible and come to all this altar. Come to this altar. God bless you. I thought we were clapping for them. God bless you. God bless you. They are coming from everywhere. It's your first Sunday. Now, why they are coming? Church, another week is before us now. Prayer rate in the morning. Outreach rates. Evening rates. Don't claim busy. Don't form busy for God. Don't form busy for God. Be part of it. And the Lord bless you. If you are still coming, your first time on Sunday, please come right now. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. All of us, it's our first time the church has prayed for us. Every prayer of the church will come to pass with speed for us. Nobody comes to this church hearing the word and putting that word to practice and things will not change. I want to believe God with you that in three months time as you are coming and hearing the word and putting that word to work, things will turn in our favor. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are blessed. We love you. Our officials will meet with you right now. Follow the instructions. Among other things, they will tell us to come on Saturday. On Saturday, the time is 8 o'clock. Be part of that. And next Sunday is going to be our encounter with destiny. So we encounter with destiny. It will be the first Sunday in the month of July. It will be our prophetic entrance service. Don't miss it for anything at all. And come with others and the Lord bless you. Please look to my left right now. There's a pastor this way. Please follow him right now. God bless you. Church, let's stand to our feet right now. Now, I'd like everybody here to seize this week, to command the week to deliver. He said, you shall have what you say. What do you want to see this week? You have heard the word of God. Now, God wants to hear you. The enemy wants to hear you. The weak want to hear you. Raise your voice right now and speak to the weak. Every day of this week, no concern, no evil report. Every day of this week, goodness and mercy Every day of this week, I am going higher. I am advancing into new horizons. Things are getting better. Life is getting sweeter. Raise your voice now and declare what was happened. Command the weak to deliver. Command the weak to deliver. Command every day of this week. Even as I step out, every prophetic word, every prophetic word that has gone ahead of me, they are coming to pass. Every everlasting mountain, Every perpetual hill, I see them scatter. I see them bow. It is my time, my set time of glory. It's my season of glory. The glory of God must be seen in my life. The glory of God must be seen in my business. The glory of God must be seen in my career. The glory of God is speaking everywhere. Thank you, my Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, as we depart from here, Breakdowns are over. Amen. All round breakthroughs start for everyone. Amen. Marital breakthroughs, Amen. business breakthroughs, Amen. career breakthroughs. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. all through this week, it shall be testimony galore. Amen. 
Testimonies of promotions. Amen. Testimonies of enlargement. Amen. Testimonies of multiplied peace. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The wisdom required to make our marital life work better is hereby delivered to everyone. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. You are blessed. Amen. Let's hear the goodness of the fellowship. Surely. Give it to your neighbor right now. Surely. And finally upon yourself right now. Surely. God's goodness and mercy shall follow me. All the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord. Praise the Lord. And finally on the covenant highways of life. Congratulations. Amen. amen and amen. You are blessed. Have a wonderful week. You have a testimony you want to share in the second service. Get to prosperity entrance. We have um, Jesus Crusaders. You want to be part of the outreach. Please get in front of the Science and Wonders Hall and join them for 